crucial for all of us. Uh, over 60% of the population are considered sedentary, 40%. And this has been true for over 20, 25 years. 40% of the population really are active individuals. And um, obesity, as you know, is on the rise, even with children. And that creates lifestyle-related diseases. And it is a fact that over 80% of all lifestyle-related diseases are um, can be present, can be prevented. Okay, lifestyle-related diseases such as uh, heart attack, stroke, uh, diabetes, adult onset, kidney disease, some cancers can be prevented through appropriate habits of um, lifestyle. Okay. Thank you. I guess the question is though, uh, and perhaps everybody in this room is that who regulates that, or should we regulate it at all? Um, this is a country of freedom, personal choices, and individual responsibility. I don't disagree with you. Into the mic. Speak into the mic. Closer to the mic. Closer to the mic. Closer to the mic. Sorry about that. That's okay. Anyway, uh, if we're going to have 23 to 40 million people through the rolls, uh, expand the services provided and do it with fewer physicians, as the young lady earlier was mentioning, and we're going to cut costs. I don't believe that's mathematically possible. <laughs> Obviously, we don't want this. 
Yeah, that's a good question. Um, and the nuclear option is that they don't need 60 votes out of the Senate. And you know right now, all they have is 60 votes. They lose one, they lose one colleague uh, on the uh, Democratic side. They can't pass this piece of legislation. So what they're considering doing is what they call the nuclear op option and just requiring a, a, a majority, uh, 51 votes, to be able to pass this legislation. Um, and yeah, that, that very well could happen. Let me, let me uh, if I can, just for a minute to interrupt, tell you what I think the status of this legislation is right now, because we really haven't touched on it. I think some mistakes were making, made in the beginning, um, and I'm not even trying to be funny here, but what's in, the problem with what's going on in D.C. is the Democrats don't have a problem with Republicans. They have a problem amongst themselves. <laughs> The president's priority is this, this health care. Speaker Pelosi's priority is energy. And Harry Reid's priority is getting reelected. <laughs> Those three are in conflict right now. Those three are in conflict. So they have much more internal problems within their own conference today than they have with Republicans themselves. And that's why you saw that energy bill pass as quickly as it did without anybody reading it is because Nancy Pelosi wanted an energy bill because that was her priority. And so she passed it out. Well, that's not the president's priority. And I don't know what, and, and it doesn't look like it's the Senate's priority right now. Uh, but they wanted that passed. Um, and the key was, of course, for them was to pass this health care before the August recess. If they could do that, then none of you would be in this room today and we wouldn't be having this discussion with this poster in front of us. But the fact that all over America right now, people are now getting a better understanding of uh, the freedoms or lack of freedom that this uh, diagram provides has made it very, very difficult now for the administration and for both leaders in both houses um, to date. So, now they're talking about perhaps a health care bill in December. Let me tell you what they're running up against and what some of their concerns are, is that now they're gonna start filing profits. Yeah. Now that we get passed, now in October, as early as October, some states are already starting, they will start filing profits. And the number one priority, and, and, I, and I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but a lot of politicians like to get reelected. And so they don't wanna vote on tough bills. They don't wanna vote on tough bills that close to getting to, to filing for re-election because they know there's someone looking over their shoulders <laughs> eager to run against them. So the later this goes into the season, the closer we get to the end of the year, the less likely this legislation has a chance of passing. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to say that I vote for a health care bill that included our congressmen and our senators on Capitol Hill. Uh, right there, we should be part of the same way as us. Absolutely. Exactly. We have an uh, exotic plan, and uh, we're not part of that, of course. I also want to say that I do agree with this woman who spoke over here. I know it's not part of the issue, but I don't believe Obama is my president, and I don't think he has a legitimate right to be president. Uh, he spent $1.2 million to hide all his records right up through college. Why? He's a public servant. That's not right. And I just want to say a quote from uh, Thomas Jefferson. When the people fear the government, there is tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is liberty. Thank you.